Thank you once again, uh, Brother Dr. Zakir Nai, the organizers and everyone present here today. Uh, first of all, I allow me to just clarify uh, my uh, sharing on the last question I asked during the ITM. Yeah, um, I just want to assure everyone that I come with good intentions, and I and I'm I'm quite. And I'm quite sad and disappointed that some... Brother, as the rule was mentioned, two or three sentences. We don't want you to repeat what you did in Shah Alam. Two or three sentences, no need of greeting us. Direct come to your question, two or three sentences, we give the answer. There are many people waiting in the queue, brother. So okay. see to it that don't okay. do what you did in Shah Alam. Ask a question in two or three sentences, forget the surrounding. It's my field answering question our session. Two or three sentences, ask your question, inshallah, answer fast. Yes, brother. I just want to, uh, this is not a question, I just want to uh, share uh, another viewpoint regards to Ali Kita. Brother, this is a question answer time. If you have a question, pose the question, that would be appreciated. I say this because, uh, very interestingly, because Malaysia also follow the uh, schools of Iman Shafi'i. And uh, actually, uh, Iman Shafi'i actually uh, uh, goes for the more open interpretations of the uh, Ali Kitab. Uh, as opposed to some uh, schools and juries that only limit it to the Jews and Christians. Actually, it's based on the, uh, the, uh, the schools of uh, Abraham, the Psalms of David, uh, Quran verse chapter 87, verse 19. And I and, uh, hear a uh, commentary by uh, Professor Kamali in this book, Common Grounds Between Islam and Buddhism, which I'll, I will uh, present it to you afterwards. Brother, I told you last time, Imam Shafi wrote the book Al-Um. Get me reference from that, I will believe. You are getting a book somebody else wrote. For me, when I quote you Quran directly and read from the Quran, if you read from a book somebody else has written, that doesn't carry weight for me. For me, if you want to quote Imam Shafi, he had Jadid and Qadim. I have read that book. Quote me from that book. Don't quote me from a book somebody else has written. It's not correct. It's not verified. You are doing the same thing what you did in Shah Alam. If you want to quote Imam Shafi, quote from his book Al-Um. Not from the book you are holding. The book you are holding is not Alum. You go to the library, get the book of Alum, get the translation quote from that, I'll believe in you. This is, also, talking about this is also from the Quran, and it states that actually you should have an open interpretation. And can I ask you a question, Dr. Zakir? Are you also a human? Of course I'm a human. So are you also bound to make mistakes? I can make, but to prove I made a mistake, you have to prove where my mistake is. That, that's why, <laughs> that is, that is why I state to you from a commentary from an imminent Muslim scholars, but not I, from my own interpretation. But if that, but that eminent is not matching with the Quran. My interpretation, what I'm talking is based on the Quran. And majority of the scholars, majority Jumur scholars of Islam believe Ali Kitab is only Jews and Christians.